Good day, everyone. This afternoon, uh, Sunday, August 22nd, I believe. And this is going to be a video that um, I have something different. Uh, as you all know, my channel name is Chatelaine Makes. And today I am going to make something that is not fiber related at all. But I am going to make some shepherd's pie. So anyways, I have a small uh, haul and a very small haul from Michaels. Um, and I'd also like to uh, ask uh, everyone if you have not already checked out the YouTube channel Charlene's Cro Crochet Corner. Um, please uh, go over and, and check her out. Uh, she is trying to do a 700 uh, subscriber giveaway. And the giveaway is for um, notions and possibly, um, I think, maybe a notion pouch, but I'm not sure. Um, so let's show her some fiber love and go over and check her out. If you're not already subscribed and you like... Uh, seeing crochet um, content to please uh, help her out by subscribing and let's get her past that 700 mark I believe she is in 690s um, so uh, but as you all know our numbers keep fluctuating um, I am stuck hovering around 180 myself so anyways um, enough of that let's uh, see what I got um, I'm just going to so yesterday I went to Michael's um, I have been dabbling in crochet jewelry so I picked up some wire and this is copper color I believe oh, just a minute uh, bronze color so I did crochet a bracelet with some beads and I'll show you that in a few moments and that was my haul from yesterday so of course after I completed my bracelet I realized I have no fasteners so like we all do this morning I went back to Michaels and that is a little bit larger haul than what I had expected. So I will dump this out and I will show you um, just one moment. Okay, so I went into Michael's for these to put on my bracelet. I also picked up the rest of this. So I picked this up. This is a cuff bracelet. What I wanted this for was to help form my bracelets. So, I was eyeing this the other day, yesterday when I was in there. This is some more wire. Nice red color. So my plan is to make another bracelet. Picked up a sticky bead mat. So that your beads don't fly all over the place because what I've been doing is I've been putting it on a cloth and then have another idea for a bracelet and possibly maybe a necklace depends on how the bracelet shows up turns up but I got these uh, glass seed beads these are 60 nice iridescent coloring along with the same of some black ones so that is for another bracelet so just give me a second okay so here is the bracelet that I did with the wire and some smaller glass beads so that'll be on there Okay, the other thing I 
did yes uh, last week as you know I was away visiting and helping out with my parents and I did make this another braided necklace so this has a magnetic fastener and I used um, kind of a multicolor a blue purple teals uh, beads sorry for the shaking and uh, off-white um, crochet thread a size 10 mercerized so let me get my receipt here anyone who is interested in knowing how much my haul was for today uh, these are Canadian prices so for the sticky bead mat it was $6.29 and for the black beads was $7.49 and that is for four focus here 4.02 ounces or 114 grams size 6 0 and the same price for the the other beads that I got these are very similar to the beads that I used for this necklace here and for the uh, these closures, these crimp closures, they were a 539. The bracelet uh, cuff that I have uh, over here was uh, 539. And the red wire was 549. And I did use my 30% off coupon. Plus, I am a senior, so I also get a senior's discount. So my total savings for today was, uh, let me see. Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, $5.95. So that's not too bad. But considering I just went in were these <laughs> but oh well we all do that so let me turn you around okay Whew, I'm sweating here um, anyone who is not interested in knowing or seeing how I make my shepherd's pie um, you can just uh, end the video about now but I'm hoping that uh, because uh, my channel is Chatelaine Makes, that you'll uh, uh, join to see how I do my shepherd's pie. Also, too, this here uh, is cross-stitch that I did years ago. Um, I used to have a picture hanging uh, that my parents bought was in my bedroom of the same thing. So when I seen that, it's like, okay, nostalgia whatever I had to have that one so it is done on blue eight o'clock. cloth um, I did not do all of that blue so uh, I'll be um, taking you out and uh, showing you how I do my shepherd's pie and um, please uh, check out Charlene crochet corner uh, let's help get her over her uh, 700 uh, subbies and um, I will also be uh, adding a little film um, to the end of this little video on my way home from my uh, little shopping trip this morning I seen a deer on the side uh, we have a little park that we drive through uh, drive around uh, and there was a deer there uh, eating some grass so I pulled over and uh, took a little video of that and I will try and add that to the end of this video. I will also be uh, doing a yarn dyeing video 
hopefully tomorrow, if not tomorrow, on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, so I will take you out into my kitchen and show you how I do my shepherd's pie. Mind you, I do do this in stages. Um, my husband helped me a little bit this morning while I was out uh, and chopped up some onions for me. So that's one less thing that I have to do, but I do need to add some more. He wasn't sure how much onion I put in. So, um, but it's uh, something that I don't have to do. And I'm going to do my shepherd's pie a little different today. And I will explain that as I am uh, assembling the shepherd's pie. So uh, hopefully you'll join me. If not, I will see you next time. And uh, take care, everyone, and stay safe. So in a moment, we'll be in my kitchen. Hello again. Okay. So here in my frying pan, I have some ground, lean ground beef and pork mixture. And I'm just going to turn that on. Get that started, turn my fan on. So, get this mixed up. So this is a larger pack of ground meat. I'm gonna try to get the lean. Sometimes I buy the extra. Um, usually the lean is good. Okay. My pan is a little full. Okay, so also during this time, so I have some, hopefully you can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. This is called uh, Herbe de Provence. It is a nice mixture. It smells very good. And I'll just show you what that kind of looks like. Okay, and I do add some of that. So I'm just going to add this a little. Now, usually I wait and add it a little bit later, but I will be adding more anyways. So, that is that. And have some chopped onions here. These are just roughly rough chops. So I'll add that and um, I'm going to chop up some more onion for this and um, I'm just going to pause you for now and I'll bring you back in a few moments once this cooks up some more. Okay so this has been cooking for a bit and my chopped onions. I have lots of onions here. Both my husband and myself love, we really like onions. So this is just a rough chop. I'm going to add that. Give that a mix. Those onions cook as well. And I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some more of that seasoning. So after I get this mixture cooked up and get it assembled, I do cook it in the oven. going to drain that. I am going to do something a little bit different today than what I normally do. Okay.
So, normally what I do is I use these Idaho uh, mashed potatoes, the original. Um, of course, like instant. Um, I found that this tastes better than the carnations. Um, of course, you can do it the old-fashioned way of boiling your potatoes and mashing them up. Um, so normally what I do is I do the potatoes, I add some of the potatoes to this mixture and what it does is it thickens it up a bit. Um, I was thinking of instead adding some gravy mix to it, but while I was shopping, one of my shopping trips, I found this uh, Clubhouse Shepherd's Pie Mix seasoning. Um, this of course is 25% less salt. Then the original, I'm going to try to add some of this, of course, along with my um, own uh, herb de Provence seasoning that I do. Normally, I also add some, a um, little bit of minced garlic to this. Um, I do have it in a chew, but I'm not going to use that today. So, of course, I just eyeball all of this. So, I give myself a nice heaping and what I do is I kind of uh, pinch it between my finger and my thumb and that really helps with the aroma as well. So I've got that in there. So I think I've used, I got enough of that in there. So today of course is trying um, a lot of uh, some different things to my shepherd's pie than I normally do and of course my shepherd's pie is never the same because the fact that I eyeball um, I eyeball the uh, minced garlic how much I put in and the same with the seasoning um, the mashed potatoes um, it's just I never know how much to make um, I just make up a bunch and toss it in um, not in the mixture, I add that on the top. So, I am going to add that seasoning now. So this will be interesting also to here. You'll see on the package, they have peas and carrots. Um, I only use peas. Um, I don't know why, it's, uh, I, when every time I've ha I had shepherd's pie from when I was a child onward, it was always with peas. I know some people put corn. Um, I love corn and I love peas, but not together and definitely not in a shepherd's pie. Um, so I am going to, I don't know if I'm going to add all of this, but I'm going to add a good portion of it. And I think that will also help thicken up the meat mixture and so we don't have that wa uh, watery consistency. Oops. My stove, I'll have to clean it again. My husband was nice enough and he cleaned it for me while I was out. Um, the other day I uh, fried up some sausage so of course it did need to be cleaned and he cleaned it. I love this smooth top as opposed to the original um, coils. It also coils, I mean you have the chance of um, some of your food falling in between down in. Um, I also had a gas stove when we lived in Ottawa, Ontario, which was great when the power went out because uh, I turned my oven on, not with the door open, mind you, but I turned my oven on. I could also still cook, um, but uh, I'm not a keen of the open flame. And I love this. This is the first time that I had um, the smooth top stove, and this is also a double oven. Uh, I was planning on getting two doors. But the salesperson um, convinced me to have one door because it gives one door gives you the opportunity of 
uh, cooking large like uh, large roaster um, all you do is take out the middle portion and it is just one large oven as opposed to two smaller ovens uh, it's great for baking I can uh, bake at the top portion of the top oven is convection so I just set it at what I would normally have my oven at and it automatically calculates and decreases to 25 degrees Fahrenheit less than what you set it for. So it also has a warming drawer on the very bottom which is great. This is a Samsung which who would think of getting Samsung appliances but we love it. Like I said it's great if you're cooking um, more than one dish at different temperatures and um, like I said if you want to do a large say you want to cook your large turkey in the roaster you can still do that as you can see this is starting to thicken up it's not as water juice it's not as liquidy as it was before not quite uh, what I want it to and I was thinking of have some uh, beef broth. I was thinking of adding that. Mind you, I also could have um, did. I have do don't have beef um, gravy mix, but I do have brown um, gravy mix. I was thinking of adding that, or I could have added. I could have used um, pork gravy mix. Um, I do uh, love to use the drippings um, when I'm doing like a roast. Um, to make um, gravy from scratch but it is so convenient to have the packets of the mix um, often what I do is if I do have any drippings and I'm using the package I will add that to the mixture um, and just reduce the amount of water that I add so this is cooking up nice Off to the side here, I do have a large pan. Um, I have a large, uh, like casserole pan, a dish. Um, but uh, my lasagna pan is uh, larger, so I will use that um, because we do like we do like our pies, our shepherd's pie, to be thicker um, and not like thin, you know. So. Have this heat at a uh, about a five, and just the two, just the two, not all three. So let's see how much of that mixture I have left. That seasoning pack, because I may, if there's not that much left, I may end up, I may just add it all. If there's not much left. Well, I got about half the pack I think what I'll do is I'll save this and if it's really good I will use it next time um, I don't make the shepherd's pie that often I am supposed to be on a Mediterranean diet which is strictly poultry and fish along with a lot of uh, vegetables uh, and some fruit and nuts dark chocolate which is not limited um, I love milk chocolate but I also like the dark chocolate so for me uh, it's not a big deal um, I also like raisins so what I do is I don't buy my raisins in um, the snack aisle I buy my raisins in the baking aisle because I get a nice baked bag and it's cheaper so anybody that likes raisins there's a thought for you. And you can see these onions are nice and um, almost translucent. So, and this 
this is thickened up quite nicely. So I think what I'll do is for now I will turn my heat off on the oven. Just let this, the heat, just let it cook up a little bit more. So what I do once this is done, then I start layering it. So I put my meat mixture and I put it all in. I don't do like meat, vegetable, potato meat, vegetable, that type thing, um, like a seven layer uh, taco pie. <clears throat> what I do is I put all the meat mixture in the bottom. Then I add my frozen peas. Once I do that, then on top of that, then I add, usually add my mashed potatoes. So I have, they're kind of like tater tots. And I'll show you the package um, once I'm ready, to, once I'm getting, um, doing the layering. So I'm going to pause you and bring you back once I start assembling the shepherd's pie. Okay, so I transferred my meat mixture into this big lasagna pan. You can see why I like to use the big pan. I'm going to add my peas on top. So I just add these to the top. is backwards in the camera but <coughs> no name <coughs> those are like tater tots so I'm gonna try these instead and of course I will show you what it looks like after it's done so these are more like hash browns as you can see so I just spread those out I did get two packages because I don't know how didn't know how much one package would would cover. Okay. Some people put shredded cheese on top. I just do the potatoes. And it looks like one package is gonna be good because if I open the other package it'll be too much. So there, that is ready to go into the oven. And I will bring you back after that is done and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven. It is golden brown on the top. So I am just going to warm that back up before supper. And supper will be taken care of. I'm just going to pause you for a moment. <laughs> 